A few days ago, I had a chance to go talk to Mercedes Watson of the Cancer Resource Center of the Desert, and she shared with me that veterans may get help there if they know somebody or if they have a family member that is fighting this type of illness. So let's listen to what Mercedes has to tell us about veterans being assisted in this particular issue. Cancer Resource Center of the Desert, it is an agency that provides patient navigation services to individuals who are diagnosed with cancer in Imperial County. Uh, patient navigation is, we remove barriers um, for individuals to access their cancer treatment. If they need a gas card, we provide them with a monthly gas card. If they have issues around their insurance, we help um, resolve those issues. If they have high co-pays and we help try to find uh, programs that will assist with those co-pays. And we also offer counseling and guidance and information on their cancer diagnosis. If a veteran were to have a cancer diagnosis and they came into our agency, we could try to um, work with the VA hospital and the social workers there to see if they're receiving all of the benefits that they are entitled to. And these services are free to all individuals in Imperial County. They would just have to call our office to make an appointment or they could walk in and we would do an intake assessment and we would try to see what needs they need um, assistance with and then we would go from there um, just to see how it is that we can assist them. I'm a cancer survivor, about 10 years. Um, 2005 I was diagnosed with prostate cancer and I was kind of ignorant about it and and uh, American Cancer uh, Society came and kind of educated me, gave me some more, some more information, some what what was available and what was you know what's ahead of me, and that helped me to to you know to the recovery and also to what I'm going to look at every day of my life. I'm I'm a volunteer. I'm I, I'm also the spokesperson for Calexico. I out of the ten years, I probably host about uh, about seven of the events so I'm I'm in I mean I, I I'm I'm in it for life it's my it's on, uh, name after me Mario Guzman jr. but um, you know it, it took me to understand what a veteran is you know what is a veteran and it took my son being being injured you know and once being injured and what he went through and uh, as he came back in his recovery and realizing that we take a lot for granted you know, and yeah, it's something they sign up for and it's something they want to do, but what they do for us is, you know, we, we got the freedom to do a lot of things. Uh, I mean, there's people in other countries, they don't have what we have, but coming back and, uh, and understanding what he saw and what, and what we don't see and see how we, we got it so easy here and all we have to do is make sure when we see a veteran, all the, all, even a handshake, or uh, even say thank you, they might not seem like they appreciate it, but they hear you. It's something we have to take for the heart and appreciate that. And when we see a veteran, salute them. He served uh, for four years and he was going back and forth to, to Iraq. Um, when he got hurt, I was not informed and I was not even able to see him until he came back. When he came back, I was able to go to uh, Virginia and go see him. But his man, a friend of mine was, uh, I, you know, I didn't recognize him. So, but I had to give him the time to to make sure he heals and understands what process it takes for him to heal. I want to add that make sure that we, as Americans, when we see veterans out there, we show our appreciation and and respect them. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Take your hat off. You know, you know, fo follow, follow it. You know, those guys, those guys mean a lot, and they, and they, and they, and they walk, and they walk, the, they walk, to, you know, walk in our shadows. And when we see them out there, you might not know, but they be, they could be your son, it could be your daughter, it could be your mom, your dad. But what they've done for this country, that's why we have the freedom we got. You know, when it comes to defending our nation, it's not just the veterans that matter. Their work is extremely important but there are also other workers, the people behind the scenes, the people that support our veterans. Now, California Senator Ben Wessel came to Imperial County to recognize the valuable work 
that these people do. So let's take a look at the recognition that Senator Wessel gave to the Imperial County Veterans Service Office. I'm sorry. We're here to honor un unsung heroes in the County of Imperial, which are the County Veteran Service officers, the ones that provide all the service to the veterans. They're unsung heroes because not only do they really provide services that our, our veterans deserve, but in doing so, they also help the local economy in drawing millions of federal and state dollars into the economy. It, it, it helps improve the quality of life of our veterans that much we deserve prosperous future, but they also uh, help with, with the economy, and many people don't know that. So we want to call attention to their service, very dedicated service and service of their country, their state, and their community. Yeah, our local veteran service office is phenomenal. They, you know, in my personal case, they helped me go through the process. I actually believe my veterans benefits terminated with education. In fact, I had a number of medical issues that had evolved that were directly related to military service. This office helped me navigate the paperwork to have those issues resolved. I think it's really important that many veterans, certainly veterans from Korea and Vietnam, and even maybe even the current Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran veterans, recognize that if they develop things that are related to their service, that IV Veteran Service Office is available. If they have issues or questions about what benefits they're entitled to, that office is so responsive. Get an appointment, go down. They will take care of you. Uh, the members of our post have recommended a lot of veterans down there because we have absolute faith. They don't quit. They simply drive on until the issue is resolved. And so I highly recommend uh, the local Imperial Valley Veterans Service Office. Today we got uh, recognized as an organization of veteran, uh, county veteran service offices throughout the uh, state. Senator Wesso uh, and the Senate put out a proclamation uh, recognizing the service of the veteran service offices throughout the state for the past 75 years. Well, it gives us exposure, obviously. Um, one of the best kept secrets, I feel, in Imperial County and in most counties is the veteran service office. A lot of veterans don't know that we exist or what our purpose is. Uh, we're not the VA. We're a county-funded office mandated by military code and law. So we're here on behalf of the veterans to help them with their benefits, have access to claims, have access to uh, education benefits, uh, uh, dependents, uh, even for deceased veterans or widows and spouses. Uh, even our veterans who are in, in Mexico and in, in Mexicali or even in San Felipe and so forth. We're here to help any veteran anywhere, any place. Not only Imperial County veterans, we have veterans who come from outside our county and we help them also. So it's a great way to uh, um, recognize our efforts as an association statewide and of course as a local in, uh, office that works out of the county. Uh, this ceremony was particularly important because it's a recognition from the state. Now, we have our government for the state up in Sacramento, but for them to come all the way down here and recognize a little town, or I should say Imperial County, County is a little town for us, but it's a big town for those that live here. And the, uh, uh, the Veteran Service Office is not that well known. So you have the more uh, big woods uh, like from San Diego to LA to all the way to Sacramento and they usually get most of the attention and most get most of the political favor. But when the small town like ours gets a, a recognition for our veteran service office, that's a very monumental thing for us down here. And also the state because it's recognized and the state uh, uh, records now. So. They can't deny it.